morning. It's Thursday morning. We're down at the beach and it's a gorgeous morning. Heading to the spin studio. I work the front desk in the off season, so that's what I'm heading down to do, but I think I'm gonna take class today. It's almost golf cart weather. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Yeah, I need a new lens. This actually is driving me crazy and up a wall. Oh my God, it's so much better. I fixed it. I was literally about to buy a whole new camera. I fixed it. It was steady shot, that's what it was. Thank God, cause it literally was like this. Thank God, I was honestly like kind of in a mood. I was like, I don't wanna buy a new lens. I don't wanna buy a new camera. I'm so happy. Oh my God, this is, I'm so happy. Yay, I don't have to buy a new lens. Good riddance, goodbye Amazon. Oh my God, I'm so much happier. Wasn't it so zoomed in before, but now it's not. Okay, I'm at the studio, um, and I'm gonna do a little Pilates workout while the spin class is going on. I have the door open. It's just so nice. I'm so happy. 12, 11, 10, 9, Hi, oh my God, I feel like we haven't just chatted, two of us, in a while. So let me catch you guys up if you're new here or obviously I haven't uploaded in quite some time so there's a lot to be caught up on. Um, I really wanted to just get back to vlogging and share so much of what I talk about on Manifest with Tori Dismone, which is my podcast in particular, but I don't always actually show like the day to day of what my life looks like. Cause when I say like I'm working, I think people might think of the social media side of me, which is you'll see in this vlog, a very big part of it as well. But um, a lot of it also, especially this time of year is with the studios and stuff like that. So let me back up and kind of explain a little bit if you are unfamiliar. So my name is Tori, I'm 26, and I own four spin and fitness studios, three are at the Jersey Shore, and one is in the suburbs of Philly in a town called Phoenixville. Um, so I have two locations in Sea Isle, I have a spin studio location, which is what this one is, and I have a yoga location in Sea Isle, and this past winter I just opened up a yoga location in Avalon, New Jersey as well. So those are all at the Jersey Shore, it's been such a blessing, it's been so crazy, and this is the off-season soft opening. So so you guys are just seeing like some desk work and stuff like that. Also, I've been getting questions about merch. If I sell merch, I don't like officially sell it, but if you guys want to buy stride merch, DM me on Instagram at Tori Sterling underscore and just say that you want to buy merch. I'll send you pictures of what we have and uh, yeah, I'll just ship it out to you guys. We'll just keep it easy like that. So that's all done. Now I have to rush over to Avalon. I don't even think I really need to go. I don't even think I'm gonna really make it in time. So maybe I should stop blogging and go. So that was like a typical morning. Um, it's kind of very all over the place, which is just what my life is for the next few months. But I actually think it's going to get a little bit easier because I hired a studio manager and she doesn't start yet. So when she starts, I think my life will be a bit more normal. Today's Thursday. There's not too much going on today. My parents just left. So I'm alone, which it's always sad being alone down at the beach in technically it's the off season because it's May 2nd. So there's not many people down. So it's always just kind of a little sad. Um, I just feel a little lonely. Like when I'm at home, it's like, you know, I have my people around, but here I'm just a little lonely, but that's fine. I have a lot of work to do today. I'm just editing a bunch of podcast stuff. If you guys watched my last manifest episode, then you know, I'm coming out with a new podcast um, with my mom. This is in addition to manifest. It's not manifest isn't going anywhere. So manifest was where it is my 
podcast and that's on Mondays. And then my mom and I are starting a podcast called Let Me Call My Mom. I think you guys are just really gonna love it and that comes out on Fridays. So today's Thursday, the first episode comes out tomorrow so I'm just finishing all the things for that. Editing my manifest episode and sending that over to my producer. I have therapy at noon. I want to go for a walk today. I have to meet up with my landlord to give him a check. I, okay, so I got my hair done. Like I have to wash my hair today too, but I got my hair done, um, like about a month ago at this point, right before Easter. And oh my God, more than a month ago. And I was like, oh, I think it's too light. So I scheduled an appointment to tone it like one shade darker, but now I love it. So I think I'm going to cancel that. And I actually also scheduled a Botox appointment for like a gift for my 26th birthday. But I have to reschedule that now too. So I have to do those two things today. That's my day. So this is really just where I spent most of the day today. It was a lot of editing for the podcast and just some back end stuff. I had some front desk shifts to finalize and then after I did that, I just really moved into all like social media stuff. And being a small business owner means that you play a lot of different roles. You have a lot of different hats. And I particularly have my hands on like a lot of different things. Obviously, I have my physical brick and mortar studios and I have the podcast. Um, I have this YouTube channel, which I'm currently editing right now. And yeah, there's just like a lot of different places to be and a lot of different hats to juggle and I wouldn't trade it for anything, honestly. So today was just a very editing heavy day. And as the summer gets a little bit crazier, I have to really delegate and prioritize what so I do each notice. day. And that's the definitely like Monday. the hardest part so of being a small business that. owner. I need a break. <sighs> I had therapy. Oh, I want my phone. Yeah, I need a little bit of a break. I've just been like sitting for a while. I had therapy, it's about three o'clock now. I sat down at like, I don't know, maybe 10. So it's just kind of just been a little while. So I'm just gonna take a little break, have some lunch, and then I'm probably gonna go for a walk. It's really nice out, so I'd like to do that. Therapy today was so funny because I was literally just like editing podcast oh speaking of which i did i say it in this vlog that i have a new podcast i have a new podcast with my mom um i can't remember if i talked about it or not but if i did i i guess i'll just cut this out but i have a new podcast with my mom if i do say so myself like it's so freaking cute it's really us just talking about i did talk about this didn't i it's really us just talking about like life and how to adulting but it's really just like the banter like and that's just what I'm realizing lately is a lot of podcasts used to have like a shtick and now a lot of them don't. Like they just come on and talk. Like Giggly Squad just goes on and talks. And like Brooke and Connor make a podcast, they just talk. And it's like, to me, what is that? But also, I'm down with that. It's a lot of like, the first half is like banter and then we get into a topic and... And the first topic, I'm actually going to leave as a surprise because it's a pretty big life update. So I'll link it below for you guys to go listen to it. But nonetheless, it's super nice out. So I'm going to have some lunch, hit a walk, and then I think I'm going to take a shower and then get back to just finishing some things. I just have. So what I was doing this afternoon was just getting that show like all set up on the back end of stuff. I can't figure out how to get it on Apple as of right now. Hopefully by the time this video is up, I fix that problem. But technology is just, it's actually just really annoying because like it's 2024. We all have multiple accounts under one like Apple ID or phone number. Like, you know what I mean? So it's, it's just really frustrating when it's like, oh, you must be like impersonating yourself. It's like, I'm not, okay? I'm literally just trying to set up my podcast like, can't you just let me live? Like, you're not smarter than me, AI. Like, please. So that's just, like, the problems that I'm running into. And when I try to put it on Apple, it's it's just not letting me for some reason. So hopefully by the time this is up, it's figured out. But as of right now, it's only on Spotify and YouTube, which that might actually be good in the long run that it's on YouTube because that means YouTube is, like, really bumping podcasts. My 
podcast network actually told me that spot, um, YouTube is the number one place where people are consuming podcasts. Is that true for you guys? Because it's not for me. I listen on Spotify. I don't use Apple. So I only listen on Spotify. But I'm curious if that is actually the case or if they um, are only saying that to me so that I upload to YouTube. If you guys have an Aldi near you, you need to get these keto coconut clusters. I don't know what makes them keto, but they are so good. I put them on my fruit and granola every day. I'll finish up what I was doing and then call it a day and hopefully do something funsies tonight. I don't really know what, but it's so nice out. But like, what do you do when you're just alone? By the way, do you know what they call that on TikTok? Like talking like that, like they call it a crispy R. Say it again. Congrats. Now, by the way, now that I called it out, like I won't be able to do it. Congrats, grads. Like people who roll their R's in English. I don't know why I didn't like think it was so nice out, but it's way warmer outside than it is in the house. I'm like freezing in the house and it says it's 70 degrees in here. It's so nice out. So I'm gonna go for a really long walk. My phone's on 14%, which should be fine for like a podcast. And if it dies, it dies. I've been doing this thing where I don't charge my phone at night. I don't, I don't know why. Like I just, like last night I fell asleep on watching Vanderpump Rules on my phone. Which reminds me, did I ever finish the episode? But anyway, I fell asleep watching Vanderpump Rules and that like kind of drained my battery, but like not a ton. But I did get new running shoes because I've been like kind of getting the running bug. And this is actually the first time in my life. These are the new shoes that I got. These are very like, these are like race day shoes and I'm like wearing them for like a walk, which is probably not the best, but whatever. I'll walk faster. Um, this is like the first time in my life that I'm just like running for the leisure of running. And it's really freeing. Like the last time I ran both times, I was training for a half marathon and then I was training for a marathon. I ran the half, I didn't end up running the full um, just because I got a shin splint during the training. And last summer was really chaotic for me. So I wasn't really making the time to train. Um, but anyway, now this year, I was like missing running a little bit. So I bought these running shoes and I've just been like going on runs when I feel like it and no pace, just very leisurely like interval walking, running. And it's been so fun and so freeing. And I've always ran for a race I've never just run because I enjoyed it. So just running to run has been really fun. Really fun. And just like just like what I just did, like do I feel like running? If the answer is no, then I don't do it. And if in the middle of my walk I'm like, let's pick up the pace. Like I'll run for a little bit, you know, until I feel like I don't want to anymore and then I stop. And it's been so nice. And my AirPods have been doing the thing where like they stop connecting to your phone, so I have to use these. <laughs> We're gonna listen to The Toast, The Millennial Morning Show. I'm not gonna bring this big camera, but I'll vlog some clips on my phone. said I wanted to do a really long walk, but I just did a really long walk. Awesome though, but like for real guys, when I was on the beach, I don't know if I put the audio in or not, I was literally getting blown away by the wind. 
I was literally like SpongeBob trying to deliver the Krusty Krab pizza. It was just like so hard. Now I didn't bring my watch with me or anything, so I don't know how long I was actually out for. I'm guessing it was like an hour, 15 minutes or so, and I think it was around four miles because I walked like what I think was about two miles out, two miles back, but I don't really know for sure. I am making lemonade. I'm doing crystal light lemonade. It was a really nice, nice walk. I listened to the whole episode of the toast. And I started a diary of a CEO episode. It's almost five, it's 4.45. Crazy. Which is great timing. I feel really rejuvenated, like ready to go. Like I could, you could tell me it's 10 a.m. and I believe you, like that's how refreshed I feel. So I'm gonna go upstairs, finish my work, and then I'm gonna take a shower, make dinner, probably just like read. Like there's nothing really to do right now and down to the beach because it's the off season. Like I'm not gonna go out and go eat dinner. I have dinner at home. It's a blessing to be able to crack my own back. The thing with my laptop is it just sounds like it's gonna take off to the moon. All right, I'm pretty much done. It's just like a waiting game now. I literally, I'm so glad we went. I had so much fun. And our seats were so good. You know who that is, right? Yeah, of course. Was He was there with his new girlfriend. She's like so Yeah, I guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Um. Oh my god, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? Hello. Hi. Um, sorry, I was just reading instructions. What are you doing? I'm going horseback riding! You are? Why? So she invited me and I obviously was like literally so down. No, that'll be really fun. Do you watch that Emma Chamberlain video yet? No, I was we talked about that yesterday and I had my thing last night. Oh yeah, you've been preoccupied. Okay, I just made dinner, and that means I want to watch TV while I eat, so. Okay, Illy, bye, call me later. Okay, bye. My plating skills are not really up to par, but this is just like a staple in what I make a lot of the time. So it's just um, rice. I normally like the frozen rice, and you just heat it up in the microwave, and it's so good, but I forgot it at home, so I just used like quick oil in a bag rice. Interesting. Not really my favorite taste, but good enough and then you just saute an onion add in ground turkey and then i just do peppers but you can use any veggie you want and i use teriyaki sauce and you just combine it conclude my day i'm really grateful for today that was my vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to subscribe leave a comment say hey and i think you guys will be really excited of what my next vlog is it's i'll give you a hint it is one of your favorite types of vlogs that's all. Okay. Bye.